Hi, and welcome to Musician's Edition Practice With Me for Flute. I'm your teacher, Risa, and today we're working in the Rubank Intermediate Method for flute or piccolo. And today we're on page nine, we're gonna be looking at Summer Evening, the duet. Oh, yay, I love doing duets. <clears throat> okay, so today we're working on part one. So why don't we take a look at part one? One. So first, tell me what do we have going on in our key signature? We have one sharp F sharp. Is this major or minor? What key is this actually in? G major. Perfect. All right. Let's take a look at our time signature. What do we have? Common time, so keeping it simple. One, two, three, four, four, four. Okay, let's take a look at our dynamics. What do we have going on? There is some motion going on. We're starting with mezzo forte. We're gonna crescendo up to forte. Then we're gonna decrescendo back down to mezzo forte and crescendo up and down, and then down even further, and then up, and then up and down. So there's a lot of up and downs. A lot of them are not necessarily marked if they're piano or down to mezzo forte. So we'll have to kind of use our own discretion here in like how far and how far up we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's take a look. Do we have any accidentals going on? We do. As you can see, last measure of top line, we have a G sharp. And then second line, second measure, we have D sharp. And then we have, let's see, what line is that? One, two, three, four, fourth line, we have G sharp again at that last measure, followed by the C sharp, back to C natural. So we do have some accidentals we need to pay attention to, things that aren't in the key signature that we are going to hit. There also is a repeat. Where is that repeat? Last measure of line three, where does that repeat take us to? Taking a look at our beginning, we do have a pickup note. So just when we're counting off, remember that means it's gonna be one, two, three, play, because that last note hits on that last beat. Okay, um, I think that hits pretty well the major stuff. So let's just sight read this from beginning to end, and then we'll break it down. Okay, ready? One, two,
job. All right, so all in all, this isn't a fully complicated piece. It's just paying attention to tonguing, the dynamics, the accidentals. There's a lot we can do to make it a lot more powerful and emotional though. So let's break this down. All right, so first let's take a look at the first line. So as stated before, we have the pickup note, okay? And then let's look at our tonguings here. Ta, 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 ta. Breath. Ta, ta, ta. Breath. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, so we'll just need to pay attention to that. There's a lot of space for it to be expressive. So first, let's just try this, just notes, rhythms, don't worry about anything else, okay? Just that top line. And we're actually, let's stop at the breath marks because that's where our phrasing is. And I don't want us to learn it in the middle of the phrases. So we're gonna just start from the absolute beginning until that second breath mark, okay? So second breath mark, there's two breath marks, okay? All right, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. All right, this time we're going to make sure we tongue and add in your dynamics. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. So there's not a lot, a whole lot of dynamic movement here. We're just mezzo forte, coming up to forte, coming back down to mezzo forte. Not a whole lot, just a little. All right, this time we're going to remain doing the proper tonguing articulations. We're going to continue doing the dynamics and this time we're gonna add in the vibratos, make it emotional, okay? Ready? <clears throat> One, two, three. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. So we're going to look from the start of that breath mark where we were. So full measure one, two, three, four, middle of four. And we're going to look at, um, let's once again, no, let's go ahead and do one, two, at the third breath mark after that one. So it's the last measure of the second line. You see that breath mark? That's where we're going to stop. <clears throat> okay, so this time, once again, let's just go through, get the notes and rhythms under our fingers. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. All right, this time we're going to add in the articulations. We're going to add in our dynamics. And if you keep missing any of the sharps, make sure you take your pencil and circle them in. Okay, G sharp, first one we hit. G sharp is the inharmonic to what? A flat. Okay, we also have D sharp. D sharp is the inharmonic to what? E flat. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead, do it again, add in articulations, add in dynamics. Okay, ready? One, two, Perfect. I don't know about you, but when I start adding in those articulations, my dynamics start to kind of get a little more natural. All right, this time we're still going to continue doing our dynamics, still continue articulations, rhythms, 
Now we're gonna add in the vibrato. We wanna make this emotional, all right? Let's really get into it. Okay, all ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Now, I've been sneaking a little extra couple breaths. We really don't want to do that. So I hope you're not sneaking those extra breaths in. Maybe we should take a moment to do a breathing exercise. I don't know about you. I'm struggling with breathing today. So you might be too. Let's set our flutes down for a minute. And let's just do some deep breaths. Let's do our S's. All right. Breathe in. Let's S it out. Nice and controlled. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. S it out. All right, perfect. All right, let's do that passage one more time. We're gonna try to breathe only where the breath marks are marked. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. That was much better for me. Hopefully it was for you too. If not, you can always pause the video, do a couple more, a couple longer breathing exercises. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and look at our next section. Okay. So we're going to start from that breath mark, that last measure on line two. Okay. And we're going to go all the way to that repeat. Stop at the repeat. Don't do the repeat yet, but we're going to play to that repeat. Okay, so for this go around, once again, let's just play to get the notes and rhythms under our fingers. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. So there's a little bit of switch up with our rhythms, but it shouldn't have been anything complicated. So looking at the first measure of the third line, we have the dotted quarter going into the eighth. So we just hold that out a little bit longer than like what our main rhythms have been, but just one, two, and three, and four, and okay. All right. Also, let's take a moment to just see where our slurs are. And then there's not as much dynamic movement here as we had been where we were crescendoing, decrescendoing, crescendoing, decrescendoing. Um, just those la about those last two measures is about the only spot we have dynamic movement in that section, okay? All right, so let's go ahead, add in dynamics, add in articulations. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. So we get louder and then quieter. All right. Now let's go ahead and add all that together and now add in your vibrato. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent 
job. All right, this time we're going to do beginning until the repeat. All right, ready? With everything that we've done so far. So add in articulations, dynamics, vibrato, okay? We've done this whole section, so we're, we should be able to put it all together. All right, ready? One, two, Excellent job. All right, so let's go ahead and move on now. So let's take a look at line four and we're going to stop um, one to the second breath of line four, okay? So once again, let's just play the notes, rhythms, get them under our fingers. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. So rhythms get a little different here. The big thing is just to make sure you don't rush on those quarter notes, okay? I know we get a little excited getting the, you know, the eighth runs, but just gotta relax, okay? All right, so now I think we're ready to add in our dynamics. Once again, they're not really marked at what dynamic we should move to, but we wanna make it emotional. So if you feel like the most emotional you're gonna be able to take it is you know, say mezzo piano to forte in that section, then do it. We want this piece to be really emotional. It's supposed to be, okay? So it's left up for interpretation on how much, how loud, how soft you get, okay? And this time we're also going to add in articulations. All right, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and add in the vibrato now. All right, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. So we're gonna start at that breath that we just ended off on and we're going to play, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth line at the, um, that very last breath on line five, okay? So it's the last measure breath mark, okay? So let's go ahead and just play it, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. So it helps that part of this section is what we had up above before. All right. Now we do have a couple of those accidentals. Just pay attention to, we have that G sharp in that first section and we have the C sharp coming down. It's back to C natural. If you missed it, just go ahead and circle it in. All right, let's go ahead and now add in the dynamics, add in articulations. All right, ready? One, two, three. 
Excellent job. All right, this time we're going to add in the vibrato. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and finish this out. So from that breath mark to the very end. All right, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add in the dynamics and the articulation. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Now add in our vibrato. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, now we're ready to do beginning to end with everything we've worked on so far. And then we'll do it as a duet. All right, the whole piece. One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and do this as a duet. You remain on the top part. I'm going to play the bottom part. All right, ready? One, two,
job. All right, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, notify, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our practices. Thanks for joining, and until next time.